In Florida last weekend, a peace march was held to remember Trayvon Martin, the high school student shot to death by a man claiming a stand-your-ground defense almost a year ago. Superstar Jamie Foxx went to Miami to support the family and gave this exclusive interview to Washington Watch. When the case first happened, I took a personal interest in it. It just, it just impacted me. I don't know uh, what to say. There's, a, there's been so many cases um, that has happened, but this one really like touched me in such a way where I, I couldn't explain it. And uh, all the way up until I was at the Image Awards and I got a chance to, I bumped into Trayvon Martin's mom and there was tears in her eyes and it was like, they, my, my baby is gone, what can we do? And I said, we can do everything. And uh, that night, Harry Belafonte spoke, Sidney Porter came out, I actually saw you rolling. Um, and we talked about it and I said, you know, what can I do? I'm, I'm this young dude, everything is going great for me and I, and I, I want to do something that's, um, that will mean something. So that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, that's why we're here at the remembrance of uh, Trayvon Martin. And, you know, I, like I said, it's the least we can do for our kids, man. And anybody out there that got kids, if you could just look at your kids, just take a second to look at your kids and imagine them not being there. And then not only them not being there because someone ha has killed them, but there's not even a penalty for the person that has killed them. That's just not right. And when you look at Sandy Hook, when you look at Aurora, when you look at where we're going as a society uh, with, with, with the gun violence. Listen, I'm a gun owner from Texas, everything like that. Uh, but there's ways that we could, we could definitely uh, figure out a way how to stop this madness. You look at Chicago, over 500 and something, 600 and something uh, deaths, uh, most of those African-American deaths. Uh, yeah, I just feel like it was time for me, and, and it won't just be me. You know, I'm not taking any uh, just credit and, and, and toot my own horn, but there'll be other, uh, both African American and non African American uh, guys in our, in our business that are going to start saying, hey, you know, enough is enough. Martin family attorney Ben Crump asked us to keep the pressure on. April 29th will be the Stand Your Ground hearing. And remember, everybody from Washington Watch out there across America that before they can get to their constitutional right to trial, Trayvon parents have to first go through the stand your ground hearing where if the judge rules in the killer's favor, they never even get a trial by a jury of their peers. So it's so important that we stay vigilant and that we don't forget Trayvon. Roland, thank you for your support and Washington Watch. You all were there at the very beginning who helped make this uh, movement for justice, for justice for all children. You all were there from Trayvon for day one, and we thank you very much, Washington Watch.